Many people already ask me what it takes to make a good AU. Many of my fans have already answered this question by saying that you need to draw, copy a lot of canon facts, make it funny, change some things, or that you only need to wait for a good idea and do nothing in between, and so on and so on. And while these are okay statement, they are all in the wrong order. And since I read a lot of Undertale AU stories and even once started writing my own Undertale AU, I know some tips on how to write a good AU. So let's begin with the most important part, and that is the why. Why do you want to write an Undertale AU? For that I give you like one minute to think about. And when you come back for this one minute break, I want to hear all your answers in the comments down below. Okay, you got your reason? You wrote it down? Good. Many would answer this question because they think that it would be cool. Other would be saying, I want to make an overpowered sans character or to become popular. Or even, and that is the most important factor many people are saying, is because they love Undertale and want to make their own little story. And while a personal love and a personal passion for the Undertale fandom is a strong factor of actually writing an Undertale fanfiction or AU, it is still not a reason, since passion is an interest and isn't a strong enough force to motivate you to write a whole story. Let me explain. Passion can quickly appear but also quickly disappear when you are faced with something unpleasant. Like writing while you have no bloody idea what you want to do. This can ensure that you feel like shit when you can't even finish a single page and think of you as a failure. This happened to a lot of Undertale AU creators since all of them don't know how much work it is to draw a comic, make a webcomic in an Undertale pixel art style or even write a simple fanfiction of Undertale. Some creator even fall into depression since they feel like a failure, since they can't even write what they thought would be a simple Undertale AU. And when they are writing, they notice how similar it is to, to the normal Undertale story. And they become rather depressed because they wanted to write their own story and they notice that they can only write a reskin, which demotivates them even further. Since we writers have some standards standards. We want to write something different. We want to write something of our own. But when we can't do that, we feel depressed. But here is an important fact. Writing is hard. It is a hard skill to learn and it is even a harder skill to master it. And it completely can destroy you when your hard work isn't even recognized and some guy who just recolors the canon undertale cast gets more like gets more recognition and becomes more famous than you hard worked undertale AU. As you can see a reason is a good motivator since it motivates you to keep going and continue writing even when you feel unmotivated or feel like crap since you can't draw shit. One good motivation I would advise you to follow as a beginner or even if you wrote like 20 AUs is to see this AU that you are currently writing as a way to, to improve your writing skills and art skills. This would help you to learn how to outline your story, write the character arcs or personal hero's journey for many characters you have created and it would help you to learn the basic of drawing in any art style or writing style. It also helps since you don't have the pressure of always uploading something for your fans and always think that your art is not good enough or always needing to face with haters who hate your art style since, let's be honest, using gacha live figures aren't a sign of a professional Undertale AU. Since so many cringy gacha live videos are being released daily. But let me tell you, as a pro, okay I'm not a pro, I faced this problem and self-doubt many times. I hated my art style and I hated that I couldn't draw like other artists could and I still hate my myself for being able to draw like a novice and not like a god. And since then I didn't want to continue writing a story since I always thought good art is necessary for writing an Undertale AU. And while it is the most important thing, you need a good story. But if you get quickly demotivated and get quickly depressed or even are currently depressed, I wouldn't advise you to write right now an Undertale AU. Get your life together or start pretty small. 
Instead of writing a story overhaul story where Gaster got OP powers and beat humanity and now humanity lives in the woods where they're still fighting and fighting against monster kind. This would be way complicated for a beginner. Start small with a simple character change or location change or even role swap. I know, by just changing one or two simple things, you can write an interesting story, an interesting character study. Like, what would happen if Papyrus was in this role or in this role? And what would happen if Sans was in this role or this role? But this would be a topic for another time. But also, I would advise you to start also a new hobby, to balance your life. Since just writing and just drawing and just working on your skills can be really stressful, you need something that would take the stress from you. And I don't mean video games. Maybe start a new hobby like cooking or start working out. This would be an interesting thing and would also help you mentally and physically and would balance your life even further. Simple gym exercises can really help you with your mental state and make you more balanced and more appreciate of life. But if you're not ready to make this change or be ready to start small with a simple story, I would tell you right now that you will suffer from it. Take me for example. What I do is a thankless job. I make interesting Undertale canon facts, I make extremely good animation and still get no views. I even got no money money from all of this, while Gacha Life YouTuber get more money and more views than I will ever get in a single month from a single video. It will really fuck with your mental state, which is why I always make long ass pauses whenever I feel demotivated, and that can happen really quickly. So please, take care of your mental health and, uh, and balance everything in your life. Don't get demotivated by other creator and completely focus on your work only. If you can't do that, then I will say it quite frankly, you are not ready to actually write in a you story. You are not ready to be an Undertale AU creator. Anyways, this was my first part of a multiple part series of how to write an AU. If you like this video, please like this video. And also check out my fandom sense analysis video of why it isn't a good idea to make an overpowered character the mascotchen of an entire fandom. Maybe you're also open to watch my other video like what is X-Tail or even my underfill canon au facts and if you are daring maybe even how was underfill created anyways i wish you all a bloody good day and goodbye